What's up everyone? So today I'm gonna be eating some breakfast food. Um, one of my favorite meals is breakfast. So I made kind of like hash browns, potatoes, fried eggs, and mushrooms. I put under the fried eggs, if y'all see, cheese, if you guys can see that. It is 2020 y'all and I feel like 2020 is already getting crazy already but if you are new and you don't already know my name my name is <laughs> still here now thank you i adore you i appreciate your time watching me eat let's get into this <laughs> hopefully your uh, 2020 has been good if it hasn't already i hope it gets better try and think on the positive side you still got plenty of time okay all right got it Hey, let's see if this pops. Ooh, yeah. If you guys like makeup and stuff or just like to watch YouTube people. Heard about the whole Jeffrey and Nate situation breaking up. <sighs> Holy crap, people. You're making such a big deal out of a freaking breakup. I mean, come on. I know it's like sad. I get it. Uh, my condolences to them I saw that they were together for a long time but they broke up but Jesus you gotta make such a big deal out of a breakup frick mm -mm. let them be alright I feel like I'm that guy who told people to let Britney be you know what I'm talking about if you don't, here's the clip. For you bastards! Leave Brittany alone! Please! Let the people be. No one likes all their shit. Crap. <laughs> I mean. All out there. Anyway. Alright. Next. Next. We got another like YouTube like makeup person. Her name is Nikki. She uh, came out as transgender, I guess. Congrats, people that are wanting to come out in 2020. Wow, fuck. You're a gay dude. Yeah, I'm a gay dude. Are you sure? You know what? Let me think about it for another 18 years and then I'll get back to you. Yes, I'm fucking sure, All Michael. Right, man. You know what? Power to you. Uh, I hope the best outcome. And if they don't like it, I feel like I've been raising a stranger. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You yeah. have. Heterosexual. Oh, God. Help me, Jesus. Scrum. Keep going. Maybe they'll, they'll reach out to you in the long run. Anyways. Already, I'm seeing so many people in toxic relationships. This year, we need to get some better relationships. Better relationships, it could be a better relationship with a friend or a partner. If that person is treating you like crap, X them out of your freaking life. First, I suggest you pack your toothbrush. And then I want you to get your socks, your shaving kit, your underwear, your prophylactics if you think you need them, and get your ass and out of here. And go Sharon! To hell! I'm seeing too many people these days in 
mental and abusive relationships. Why? I don't know why. Maybe you think you deserve the relationship or just are so used to being in toxic relationships that you don't even know what a, a normal loving relationship is. And, it, and that's sad. <clears throat> if you are in a like mentally abusive or just a toxic relationship. It says you've been staring at him from the window all day. <laughs> Get out. I was in toxic relationships for a while. I mean, look back onto my YouTube video. I'll put the link in below. You can check him out about my story and my past relationships. I was in toxic relationships for so long. And then I finally got into a really loving relationship and positive relationship that it took me a while to grasp that like, this is how a relationship should be. A relationship should be someone who supports you, someone who doesn't make you feel like shit every day, someone who is faithful, someone who respects you, someone who listens to you when you're down, someone who doesn't go behind your back and starts doing the dirty with other people, right? I mean, if someone who is toxic to you and they keep on doing the same dumb crap over and over again, like they tell you you're a piece of crap every day or every other day, And then you cry. And they say they don't mean it. Or they hit you. And they say they didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. When you smile. Mm -hmm. And it keeps on happening over and 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 over. Mm -hmm. And over and over again. Pass about like three chances and they strike out. Strike out. Done. You need to move on. You need to move on. I don't care if you're a man or woman and you are in a mental abusive relationship. If you give them three chances and they can't. And they keep on doing the same crap to you, making you feel like crap or calling you bad names, not letting you out of the house, keeping you away from everyone, fighting almost every single day. That is not a loving, positive relationship. And that is never going to get better. I'm sorry to tell you the bad news. And it's sad. People putting being in a relationship where they feel like crap most of the time by the people they adore and love. It's sad, but that's why you need to have a real good backbone and walk yourself out of that, that toxic relationship. Because someone like that doesn't deserve your love. Just saying, all right? Call me Dr. Phil, yo. Just shut up. Just kidding. Now some other things to talk about. On my Instagram, if you're not already following me, follow me, Ashley underscore Dumford. Yes. On my Instagram story, I asked if people wanted to ask me anything about me or just a topic or whatever. I was asked what is my favorite type of video so far <clears throat> in YouTube. Uh, my type of, my favorite type of video is the stuff that I do with my Grammy or with my family. I'm just very family oriented and they mean a lot to me. Plus they, they do make me laugh. They do make me laugh and I have a good time with them. 90 90% of the time but I got asked when did I come out at what age um 
I didn't come out till to my friends. I didn't start coming out till high school. And that was probably my junior, senior year. So like 16 or 17, I started coming out to my friends, my family. I didn't start coming out until I was 18. Ooh. Ooh, I also wanted to ask. Who's a fan of the circle? Circle has no chill. This is gonna get ugly. I love it. The circle. I know Extina and Dee know what I'm talking about. But the circle, man, I thought it is the most stupidest. I mean, it's really stupid. It's really not. It's stupid, but it's so good stupid. You know what I mean? One of those shows that are like, oh my gosh. But it's like keeping you hooked because you want to know what's happening next. <clears throat> you guys watch, if you guys have Netflix and you guys want to binge watch a show or just test out a new show, watch The Circle. If you like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> There's so much. I'm not like other pro smoke bangs where you have a you have two trays of food and you like eat it all most of it or eat it at all. Dang. I'm not a pro like that. Well that Yummy. If you guys have other shows that you like on Netflix or Hulu, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to watching new shows, especially since me and my girlfriend go through shows like, <clears throat> like it's freaking candy. So, let me know if you got any good shows that I want to watch, that I might want to watch. Mm -mm. I'm hopefully going to be doing a challenge with one of my siblings about eating some, be, eating a wet burrito that has hot sauce on it. I might be eating it with Maddie or Emilio. I'm trying to decide. You can also help me decide if I should do my sister. Should I do it with my sister or my brother? Um, let me know. I plan on doing it maybe sometime this week or next week. If I don't do it next week, I'll do it the week after for sure. But I hope I'm going to be hopefully doing that pretty soon. Oh, damn it. Full. Done. Done. Like I said, if you are new, subscribe, like, comment. Let me hear what y'all thinking. And I will see you guys mother trucking next week.